Hi viewers, welcome back to Afri Fashion TV. In today's video, I will be teaching you how to draft a short sleeve. So this is my pattern paper. I'm going to fold this pattern paper into two. So the first thing to do is actually to draw a straight line here, which will serve as your border line. Okay, so this is a border line. From this line, you will be taking every other measurement. Now, the next measurement to take is your bicep measurement. Um, the bicep measurement is about 4.5 inches or 5 inches as the standard. So I'm going to use 4.5 because that works best for me. Alright, so because this is a short sleeve, the next measurement to take is the total length of the sleeve. So your short sleeve can be either 10 inches, 8 inches, 9 inches, depending on what you want. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use 9 inches. So placing your tape on this border line, you would measure 9 inches. Okay, so that is the total length of my sleeve. Then I will be adding one inch for the hemming. All right. So the next thing to do is actually to come to this bicep point and impute your round armhole measurement. My round armhole measurement is about 17 inches. Now if I divide that by 2, I'm going to have 8.5 inches. So starting from this fold, I'm going to measure 8.5 inches, which is at this point. Okay, so the next thing to do is to connect these um, 8.5 inches to the borderline. So I'm going to place my ruler like this and then connect, root a straight line to connect the borderline and the bicep line. Okay, so next I'm going to measure this line. So the length of this line is about 9.8 inches in total. Now I'm going to divide that 9.8 inches by 2, which will give me around 4.9 inches. So I'm going to mark that right here. Okay, so at this midpoint, I'm going to take half an inch upwards like this. All right, so next, I will connect these points, these half inch point to the 8.5 point at the bicep region via a straight line. So I'm going to place the rule like this, measure, okay, so 
So next, I will use my cover to connect from the beginning to this half an inch of words. So placing my row like this, I'm going to connect the cap's height. So this part is your cap's height. To get them, so I just connect the lower part to this other part. Now we have gotten the back part of your armhole region, the back like this. So we've gotten that measurement. The next thing to do is to get the front measurement. And to do that, I'm going to place my rule like this. Measure from this beginning to the midpoint and then divide it by 2. So if I divide 4.9 by 2, I'm going to have 2.45. And that can be approximated to um, 2.5 inches. But on the other hand, you can just fold your tape like this to get the midpoint. So whatever it stops, that is your midpoint. So right here, that's the midpoint. I'm also going to do the same thing for this part. Placing it like this, then I will fold the tape like so to get a midpoint. Okay, so this is a midpoint. Okay, at this point, I'm going to measure half an inch of words like so. And then at this point that I marked, I'm going to measure half an inch down words, like so. So for me, I love to connect using my free hand. I'm going to connect it like this. Okay, so that is it. Now next, on this bicep point, I'm going to add one inch seam allowance. So I will mark that right here, one inch seam allowance. Then at the total length of the sleeve, I'm going to impute my round measurement, my round arm measurement around that region. And for me, it's about 11 inches. So if I divide 11 inches by two, I'm going to have 5.5 inches. Then the next thing to do is to add my seam allowance of one inch. Okay, so that is it for the short sleeve. Next, I'm going to connect the various points. So the next thing to do is to cut out. Now to cut, I'm going to start from the back and whole region. So starting from the back, do this.
Okay, so next I'm going to cut out the front and whole region. Okay, so this is it. This is a short sleeve. Now, if you want to use this to cut out your fabric, you don't need to add a hem allowance or a seam allowance because we've added all of that on this draft. So this is it. If I open it, you can see this is for the front and whole region and this is for the back and whole region. So on fold, this is how it looks. Okay, so if you are able to use this tutorial to draft your own short sleeve, please um, leave me a comment in the comment section below and be sure to like this video as well as share. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.